Welcome to the accredited Level 2 Safer Food Worker. This is health and safety in the workplace training at Level 2 for all staff working in the hospitality and catering industries. It helps meet employers' compliance and due diligence requirements. This is a video-based course, so let's have a look at some of the footage. Now up to now, probably the most dangerous hazard Paul's been exposed to is his own cooking. Now, hopefully, that's going to get better. However, what's not going to change are the dangers that lurk within a food business. Just touch, just going to put this there. I've not actually hit you with it, I've not touched you with it, but that's what we could consider a near miss. Yeah. However, to work in, in our industry, any piece of equipment you bring in has to be pat tested. Um, as you can see, even this is second hand, it's been pat tested. Right. Now actually, when you talk about manual handling, most people think it's about lifting and carrying things. Don't forget it also involves things like pushing or pulling some of these units on wheels. You might actually need to move them out to clean them. Thank you. I just, while we're here, I just want to talk about personal protective equipment. Look at Paul's hands. They are burnt red raw. If you carry on washing in that water, you'll ruin your hands. Yeah, it's quite warm. <laughs> That's the worst example I've ever seen. Let's go and show him how to do it properly. Paul? Like wood or plastic, a broom or a brush. And what you need to do is literally break that connection. So you're making sure his airways are still open and clear. You bring his leg, turn around, Paul. You bring his leg over so he's not going to fall backwards again with a chance of choking. So his airways are clear. The second element any fire needs is heat. The actual product, whether it's wood, paper, uh, oil has to get to a certain temperature before it will actually ignite and catch fire. Did you spot the second deliberate mistake? Right at the start of the filming, I hadn't got a high vis jacket on. Now, as you can see, there's a lorry backing up towards me. Hopefully, this is going to help me this time. Um, if I hadn't been wearing this and just wearing dark clothes, it may not have seen me and basically may run me over. Whose responsibility is it to ensure that the noise does not compromise safety? Uh, yeah, everyone, the whole Absolutely, thing. bang on, yeah. You're right, most people will answer that question and say it's the employer. Actually, it is, but you're right, it's also the machinery manufacturer, but it's also you. The Safer Food Worker is EHO audited, both in syllabus and content, and it's developed specially for the hospitality and catering industries. It contains 200 minutes of high quality video content and is available to study 24-7 flexibly online, including free retests. It's also the UK's lowest cost fully accredited health and safety in the workplace certificate.